So let us proceed in solving this thing. In order, uh, because we are solving for your reheat rankine, and the working fluid use is your water, so we can refer from your property table. And in reading your property table, recall back that you will need to know two known value in order for you to get all the value needed in your property table. So let's have a look at your TS diagram over here and the information that you have over here. For state 1, it is given to you that P1 is equal to 20 kPa. And you also know that your H1 must be in a liquid form and you will read it at 20 kilopascal. Next is state 2. You only know your pressure in state 2. So you cannot read directly everything that you need from your property table. So next, let's move to your state 3 where you are given your pressure as well as your temperature over here. And remember, when given to you pressure and temperature, you will directly refer to your, to your superheated table. Next, moving to your state 4, you only have the information of your pressure. But because this is an ideal reheat kind, so you know that you are going to have the relation of your isentropy over here, which is your S3 must be equal to your S4 and next is your state 5 where you are given your pressure over here which is 3 megapascal and your temperature 500 degrees C so automatically you can read it all the information that you need from your superheated table now going out from your low pressure turbine is you will meet with your state 6 and in state 6 you only know that your P6 is equal to 20 kilopascal but remember you have another relation which is your isentropic relation your S5 must be equal to your S6 so if you have a look at here which is your state 4 and your state 6 you have given two known value also which is your p4 and your s4 therefore when you decided to read all the value that you need it must be in your table a5 where your pressure is concerned the same thing goes with your p6 over here where you have one point pressure Another point is your S. So you are going to refer it from your pressure table, which is your table A5. So let us proceed by solving this state by state. So if you want to solve for your state 1, we take for the state that have two information right so your state one is p1 is equal to 20 kilopascal and your h1 must be your hf which is equal to 251.42 kilojoule per kilogram and there's another information that you will be needing to use it in your in finding your state 2 which is your V1 or specific volume it's equal to VF which is 0 0.001017 meter cube per kilogram Alright, so now let us proceed with your state 2. In state 2,
you have your P2 which is equal to 8 megapascal and recall back from your notes we can make use of your work pump in order to find your H2 which is definition of your work pump is equal to H2 minus H1 or you can also make use of your specific volume at 1 with P2 minus your P1 so you make use of your that V1 your H2 now becoming V1 P2 minus your P1 plus your H1 Alright, so let's rearrange this thing. Your V1 is 0 0.001017. Your H2 is 0 0.001017 times with your pressure. Now, you need to be careful over here since your pressure here is in 8 megapascal. So, we are going to convert it into kilos. So, you will have so you will have a uniform unit which is your which is in kilojoule per kg all right so your p2 now it becomes 8000 kilopascal minus with your 20 kilopascal and plus with your 251.42 kilojoule per kg of uh, h so now you h2 will be 259.54 kilojoule per kg.